now we are going to cover uh, how we can put a debug on a particular method a class method okay with object oriented technology so i'll just go to suppose i know this is the class i'm going to use that i'll put, be putting debug on okay so i go to se24 first thing okay and here is the class that i have okay and here i will be using this method okay get instance so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to me 22n because that's the transaction where we'll find we are expecting that the debug we will put the debug there and we'll see how it works okay so now it's calling me 22n same thing we are just going to make a change okay and again different different uh, uh, process different methods different classes have different flavor so if i go to slash h now i made some changes i'm here and what i'm going to do i click on save now and here i'll click on so it's opening a new session and the moment the session opens we can put the debug okay so here what we are going to do is we click on we click on breakpoint break watch points okay and here we click create and what i'm going to do is so i'm going to go to method okay and here i'll put this class and if you click on the method name okay i can choose my method which is get instance so it comes as uh, in alphabetical order so i'm putting get instance and i click here and you can see there is an entry already there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just click on here execute and here you see voila the message it has put the debug here and then you can if you want to go inside the code what is happening you can click on f5 you know and go through everything what is happening inside the code and all those things this is very useful especially with the object oriented technology with sap and s4hana it's very important okay 